second graders, welcome back. Today, we are going to dig in a little bit deeper and talk about our characters. So behind me on my paper, I have character traits written down. Now we've talked a little bit about character traits when we talked about the big bad wolf in some of our stories, and we're gonna talk even more about them now. So in the middle of my page, you can see I have tortoise and hare here. Hare is sleeping and tortoise is winning the race. And we're going to think about character traits for each of them today. Now, what is a character trait? Let's remember, in the orange, it is descriptive adjectives that help us understand a character. Hmm, well, what does that mean? It basically means words that describe the character. So we can figure out these words based on a few things. Things that the character says, things that the character feels, like emotions, things that the characters think, and things that the characters do, or the things character a character does. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to give you some adjectives and you're going to decide if they describe tortoise or if they describe hare. Okay? So it's going to be kind of like a game. So I'm going to hold up the words and what I want you to do in your notebook or on your white piece of paper is I want you to sort these into hare, and tortoise. Okay? So right now on your paper, you can draw a little bunny or a little hare on one side and draw a little turtle or a tortoise on the other side. Okay? So go ahead and hit pause on this video while you draw and when you're done drawing, hit play again. Okay? All right, we're back. So now I'm going to hold up some words for you and you need to decide, is this a character trait that represents hair or is this a character trait that represents tortoise? Now when you're all done with this, your seesaw assignment is just going to be to take a picture of your work. So make sure you're writing the adjectives down as we go along. Okay, you ready for your first one? Okay, here we go. First one is fast. Fast. Does fast describe the tortoise or the hare? So you decide and you're going to write fast next to the picture of your tortoise or your hare, which character trait, okay? And remember, if I'm going too fast and you need it longer to spell, you can always put push pause on your video, okay? All right, next one, next one, next one. Hard worker. Which one of our characters was a hard worker? Was it tortoise or was it hare? I don't know. You think about it. Decide which one of our characters was a hard worker. Okay. You guys are doing good. I feel it. I'm excited to see these in Seesaw. Okay, next one. We ready? Mean. Which one of these characters was mean? Was it tortoise or was it hare? I know which one I think in my head. And I've decided this because of things that my character did to the other one and things that my character said. One of those characters said some not so nice things, so he was mean. Okay. Next one, slow. Which one of my characters was slow? See if you can figure it out. Which character does this describe? Next one is, let me see, how about nice? One of these characters was nice. And as you're writing this down, friends, you might notice that we have a sneaky E that slipped onto our word, right? Our sneaky E tells our I to say its name, I, I, nice. So think about that as you're writing it down. Does this describe the tortoise or the hare? Next one, flashy. Flashy means like they like to show off. 
So which one of these characters do you think liked to show off or be flashy? Was it tortoise or hare? I just want to remind you that if I'm going too fast and you need to see the spelling, you just pause the video, okay? Next one, quiet. Which one of our characters was more quiet? One of them was quiet. I'll hold it closer for you. Okay, you guys are doing really, really awesome. Okay, you ready for your next one? Here we go. Lazy. One of our characters was actually kind of lazy. So you got to think about that one a little bit harder. Which one was lazy? Now remember, lazy means they just don't want to do a lot of things. They don't want to do work. Or they don't want to participate. Think about that one. Tortoise or hare? Next one is friendly. Which one of our characters was more friendly? Does that describe a trait more of tortoise or hare? Think about the things that each one of them said and did and which one of those things is more friendly? Which one, which character was more friendly? Okay, and finally, one more we have rude. We have another so sneaky E there, rude. Which character was rude? Hmm. I know one I think of based on their actions and things that they did. Okay, friends, so we've sorted all of our character traits on your paper into tortoise and hare. So your job is going to be to take a picture of that in Seesaw and turn it in. And you know what else I like to think about when I think of character traits? I know that you guys have been talking about good citizenship with Miss Wood and what things make a good citizen. So I think one of these characters is probably a little bit better of a citizen than the other because they have nicer character traits. So you can think about that too. All right, friends, I can't wait to see all of your character sorting. Thank you for learning with me today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.